today, tomorrow, and the next day. We are just gonna be working here on my 2008 cross-wheel drive. It's the 2.8 liter V6. Yeah, all my DO88 parts just came in. I am so insanely excited, you guys. Getting these parts was a super long story. If you follow my Instagram, you might know a little bit about it. I'm gonna be doing all the prep work, removing things like the front bumper, the fenders, uh, going underneath the hood, taking out the battery, removing charge pipe, getting rid of the frame that holds the headlights in and things like that. All right, so first order of business is to remove this front bumper here. So what we're gonna do, here's your wheel well. Go in, you gotta remove one, get in there, one, and you, well, my second one is broken off down here. You got three, and then there's supposed to be one more right where that slush is, and that's four. One, two, three, four, and then you can pull off the side here, and that's on both sides. And then you go under, you also have a couple of bolts under here, and I thought there were some in the back, but that looks like it's, the shroud is just sitting on there. It's an eight millimeter. Most of these are already pretty loose though. Now we've got to do the other side. All right, so we officially have all the screws out of the wheel wells. So we got this one here, this one here, and then one, two, three, four pins to take out. Now removing these pins is pretty simple. You just push the center out. Just click them down like this. that and they're all free too lazy to go in and get the right tool so this is what I do instead okay so right here I've got a special pair of ice grips that uh, closes on silicone and rubber hoses without destroying them so we are gonna drop this front bumper right now all right now washer fluid is right here and it goes to here for the lights. This is the only connector we have to remove right here. It connects up to the side. It's gonna be the one all the way to the left if you're facing the car. Follow it down, and it's gonna be the bottom connector in the back over here. So undo that clamp, and then squeeze it with your grips, and it should be good. Uh, so I just remembered you have to undo this connector right here that I'm pointing at for fog lights and uh, anything else electrical that goes in the front bumper practically. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that using the, the screwdriver. So put it into the top right about there. Push your red tab out and then it just pops right off. There's that, now I can get this out of the way. I am going to undo the battery. Grab a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet and take that sucker off. So to remove your headlights, start by taking off this base bolt in the back. A lot of people's are broken off right here. In fact, for me, that's it because the rest of my linkage is actually broken right off. Then you take a small screwdriver, pop up the blue thing right here. As far as it'll go. The other bolt that you generally need to take off is right here, but that one, it broke off inside of this. Because on the other one it's broken off, but you have to undo that bolt to get the headlight off. There's a 10. Take this off. Okay, I decided not to head in yet because I wanted to make some progress on this, uh, this top sheet thing so basically what i did was i found this torque set right here and i removed this bull over here and the other one is nice and loose but i'm going to remove those then i'm going to take the uh i don't know i could just grab either a pair of ice grips or find the actual deep well socket i need to take this off this off and then i'm going to have to take off all the bolts that are connected up here so one two three and then I'm assuming four right there, five, six, seven. So I'm assuming anywhere between eight and 10 bolts on the top that I'm gonna have to take off, but they're, it's pretty self-explanatory. 
So it turned out those two bottom bolts were 10 millimeters. So the A-frame is now sitting in there in the battery compartment because I don't have a good place to put it right now. All right, the next thing I'm gonna tackle is the horn right there. I'm, there's that one bolt that you can see dead in the center of the screen there. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be either an eight or a 10. It's looking more like a 10. So I'm just gonna unscrew that and then let it hang right over the front bumper. All right, technically, day two i guess of working on this car now we're going to take this plate metal off of the top here so that we have more access to the intercooler and radiator after i get that off i'm going to work on the cold air intake we're going to pull that off but i think that's going to be in the next video considering i just wanted to get the things that were essential to all the installations off first t20 torque i'm going to grab a torx and take care of those and next time you see me, I'm gonna be pulling this whole thing off. Right over here, I'm trying to get this top engine cover off. There's no linkage or anything. You just pull up and it pulls right off. But however, I have this strut bar, so I have to take that off because it's pinned down. So I've put the car back on the ground so I can just unscrew these bolts real quick, lift it, get the cover out of the way, set it back down, put the bolts back in. All right, there, I got the, the uh, top plastic off of the engine there and I removed this plate. Basically, there is a pin for your hood release right here. That clip, you have to push it out through that hole right there. And then uh, you can move it up and out of the way to the side. Now we're gonna get rid of the stock air box and the pipes right here that connect to the turbo. Since that has to be replaced anyway and it's in the way to get the intercooler and radiator in. So that's what we're doing now. All right, so basically I'm just undoing the clamps that are right here. The other one is right about there. Okay, so this GoPro is really finicky. I'm not sure what it missed, but it, it stopped recording on its own. I undid some clamps all around here, and I am currently in the process of undoing this sensor and this sensor right here. Fun fact about those sensors is that they are different between automatic and manuals. The part number is different and your engine will not function properly with the wrong one. So if you have a parts car like me and it is a automatic transmission rather than a manual, then don't swap them. <laughs> Wait, can I actually pull this off? Yeah, if I can just pull this off, then I'm gonna There we go. So I'm pretty sure how this works is you uh, squeeze it on the sides and then pull and then it should come right off. However, it's not for me because I'm unlucky. There we go. Fix that, we can spin this out of the way. Okay, so. For those of you watching at home, if when you have the uh, the turbo inlet pipe and the intake system for GO88, you actually need to save this centerpiece. So go ahead and undo your clamps. It's okay if they're all rusted because the kit comes with new ones. Like this. Let's pull these off. Okay, so now that that's all taken care of, we can actually get rid of the stock air box too. Okay, so let me go do a layout here. One, two, three, and four. Grab your filter. Get rid of this too. There are these rubber roller things here that help hold the air box in. And then the uh, there's another one on the bottom. Okay, you can see right through there. Right there, my finger that I'm touching. That one has to roll out that direction, that one has to roll out that direction. So I'm just gonna push it towards the camera. And then you're gonna need those stoppers later, or the rollers or whatever, the washer, grommet things. You're gonna need those later. So I'm actually gonna pull them off, throw them in my pocket so I don't lose them. This bottom one's actually a lot harder to get off, so you will most likely need a screwdriver. Go ahead and take the screwdriver, just push it down underneath to make myself some room. And then pull. Well, lost my screwdriver, but I got the thing off. That's all that matters, so. There. So that gets rid of your stock air box. 
and everything else basically that needs to get removed. This I'm gonna go throw back inside with the rest of these parts. Oh, looks like there's a whole bunch of coolant hoses all over and I have a coolant hose kit so I'm gonna go ahead and start replacing those but you won't see that till the next video.